All right. The ruined keep is a tumble down building. Just four walls and no roof with grasping ivy and ferns between the stones. Hiding in the shadows of the keep are thieves, cutthroats and assassins. But the worst of the lot are not there at the moment. Herathia and his top associates are on a mission. The Huntress, God to Adelbert, something else to Herathia, has put one of her commanders on the chase of a mark. And Herathia wants to get there first. So right now, Herathia is standing in the hull of a trireme, a ship anchored offshore. It's pulled this way and that by storm winds and choppy waters. The trireme appeared deserted until Elithia found a pile of bodies in the hull and a flight of crossbow bolts in the face. Elithia is in Adelbert's arms, blooded wounds healed, a dire wolf licking her face. Meanwhile, Zaymar is sneaking along the top deck in the driving rain. A dark shadow against a darkened sky as Herathia's lantern splashes light across four enemies. Elves armed with heavy crossbows intent to kill. And that's where we'll pick up the session tonight. So, so yeah, it, um, if you'd like to unmute yourselves, um, Elithia, you are next up in turn order. Um, oh. You are currently, oh. as I mentioned, in the arms of um, Adelbert. <laughs> what happened? What? Bertie, those crossbows, I don't like them. Um, uh, and then I'm going to look over to, did I see where the crossbows came from? Uh, yes, so the, the location of the four elves has been illuminated, literally, by Hrathia's um, lantern. Is Hrathia, how close to, to, uh, to them is Hrathia? Well, let me bring up um, the map. So... You are currently um, over here, so you're about s just a bit under sixty feet from the elves who are here. Okay, and how far is Herathia from the elves? Herathia is right next to you. Okay, and do I see Zaymar at all? Uh, Zaymar, you know, sort of split off and went along the top deck, but you can't see him. Um, he appears to have vanished into the shadows. Fine, but he's, he doesn't appear to be five feet around the, um, uh, around the elves. You can't see him in the vicinity of the elves, no. Okay, I mean, I don't care. Um, I'm going to be like, I can shoot from a bar too! And then I'm going to cast out Ice Knife at them. Okay, what's the range of that? So that's 60 foot. Perfect, okay. And what's the DC? So it's DC, uh, it's Dex 13. Dex 13, okay. Is it an area of effect? So it's one target okay. and then it explodes. Oh, this one, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember this one. So, um, just out of curiosity, which one are you going for, the left or the right? Uh, I'm probably going for the. Um, I, hold on, let me let me do a. Uh, I'm going for the left. Left one, okay. On one of my many windows, I need to bring up the sheet. <clears throat> I'm only casting it at first level, by the way. Okay, um, you said thirteen. Yeah. Do they, do they pass? Yeah, so um, currently they've, they've got a, a heavy crossbow and they're um, s starting to winch in and reload. Um, but they're, they're crouched down behind a pile of bodies and as the, um, the ice knife flies towards them, 
Um, they duck very quickly okay. um, and very adroitly. That's fine. There is still a... Um, uh, uh, oh, I have to hit. I have to see if I hit. Ah, uh, that's a miss. No, 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 no. Oh, so you I mean to, to you need to <laughs> aim to hit yeah. anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I have to do D20. Yeah. So that's actually 19 plus my spell casting. So that's okay, yeah, yeah. That's, you, you easily hit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I'll hit them. So but I'll they hit dodge, the yeah. The left, but I won't get the area of effect. Yeah. yeah, so I won't get the area of effect. Okay, so what's so the damage? That is, uh, so that is 1D10. Yeah, so that was hold on I'm, let me find an actual d10 as opposed to a god damn it where have my things gone here we go uh six okay all right um they did they did duck very adroitly and obviously managed to um i, I guess stop the impaling the impaling would be the bit that then bursts um, but you, you do manage to um, send shards of, of small amounts of ice um, into their skin. Um, they don't look massively damaged from that, so, so, but it so obviously hurts. The one them. on the left is the one on the left that gets one d10, and then like the uh, deck save is for the area of effect, so they don't get that. So I managed yep. to pierce, but they managed to le um, duck the um, the shards. Cool. Any movement? Um. Is there anywhere I can hide? Um, so you're currently in an open hole. Um, if you look up, you can see the planks where the rowers um, sit directly above you. Um, this kind of staircase area is actually above you, so you can come underneath that. So there's nowhere close by to hide, um, apart from if you headed right to the back, there are some crates and things um, towards no, the back of the uh, ship. Can I, can I try and, like get above the can i climb up above the um uh whether where the rack where the things are where the where the, the crates words. yes no not crates where the so where the rowers are obviously there's planks can i get above the planks oh yeah so um if you you'd have to so the boat is obviously shifting constantly in the waves yeah. you'd have to reach up and and um climb up with either athletics or acrobatics but you can certainly acrobatics, attempt that please well, uh, well, well, Ellie Rose. I should say I'm kind of, I am kind of holding onto you quite tightly. <laughs> no. Kind of wrapping my arms around you. <laughs> oh my god! So that's a twelve. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, you you manage to grab hold of one of the planks and and push it off the side of the hull and sort of flip over um, onto okay. the plank. So you're now um, sort of hidden up there, but obviously you've had an action, so you're not. As hidden as you would be if you'd spent your entire no, no, turn no, hiding. No, no, I just, I just wanted a, to be a little bit out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you are extremely difficult to hit now, um, because of all the. There's a row of planks all the way along the ship, so from their angle, it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to hit you. All right. Um, talking of which, it is now their turn. Okay, so um, the one that was hit by you. Um, was this one? Um, interesting. Okay. So. I hate it when he says that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, for those that speak Elven, this one um, is shouting something to all of them. Um, so I will put into Discord chat exactly what they say. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I can't do that. I have to do it. I'll, co I'll copy and paste it to each of you. Um, so this is something that the, that the person at the back left shouts to the group. Um, immediately you can see them um, take careful aim. Um, 
and so I'm going to go one by one. This one here is going to shoot a heavy crossbow at Adelbert. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. Um, so that is a um, 25 to hit. <laughs> Yes. Only just, I should say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now, knowing Edelbert and his remarkable sturdy frame, I'm just going to do the one hit. So 11 points of damage, piercing. <gasps> and down. All right. Um... Um, and there's a flurry of movement, and they rapidly rewinch their crossbow um, with a very stern, sort of desperate look on their face, and then fire again at Harathia. Um, AC 11. No, sorry. I'm not sorry. But <laughs> I'm about to say you don't need to apologize. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, another crossbow bolt um, comes flying your way, but they reloaded in a hurry um, and didn't take aim, proper aim, so it actually goes high and strikes the, the planks above you um, with a, so you a thud. So they, do they each get off more than one shot, then? Uh, they're about to, yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is then going to move... Um, so... Uh, and then try and climb up. Okay. And then there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So they're now on mid, mid deck. Um, this one, I'm just going to roll both at the same time. So that's a, a 20 and a 12 against Tarathia. Uh, uh, they can have the 20. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one one hit. That is 13 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Uh, and they are going to try and do the same. So this one... Um, grabs a plank and swings up, catches their leg on, on this deck um, and fails to grab hold of it and just lands back in the hole. Uh, so they're actually going to remain there. Um, and then the last two, that's a 12 and a 16 against Rathia. Sorry, 12 and a 16? Yeah. Oh, well, they can have the 16. That is nine points of piercing, and the last, so they are also going to try and climb up. Yeah, so this one leaps up onto the mid-deck, and then, uh, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then comes up here. Um, now, the top deck is... There's no cover, Zema, so as soon as they leap up onto the top I deck... I was hiding, I was hiding, though. There's no concealment here. So, as soon as they're on the top deck, they can see you. And the last one... is a 14? No dice. No dice. And a 20! Mm, okay. So seven, so fourteen piercing. Well, you just said seven. I'll have the seven. Uh, d it's double because uh, they got a twenty. Oh, I see. Um, right, okay, fine. Um, right. What's the best uh, um, thing to send you messages on? Uh, Discord. Yeah. Uh, right, because I've got another one. Um, Right, and they are going to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 
So this one is now on the top deck as well, Seymour? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Was he the one who gave the orders? Uh, that's this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can mark them in any way. Colour tint, maybe? Wow, nice. Yes, that oh. one. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for you to check your uh, Discord messages. All right, cool. So um, while I do that, um, it's uh, actually Bran. Um, Bran is yeah, going to hold. Sorry, you need to check before as anyone else is going, or else I won't be able to do what I what I might be able to do. Uh yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll just roll that and let you know the result. Yep. Great. Right, right. Um. All right, so as um, same while you're assessing the situation, you've now got two elves with um, heavy crossbows and longbows um, and equipment on their backs um, leaping up onto the top deck. Um, they do spot you, but they finish their turn, so there's no um, sort of intention um, from what they're going to do next. Um, right, so, uh, sorry, is it coming around to my turn then? Uh, yeah, I was just covering for... Okay, that's... Alright, that's fine. Um, come right here. Right, so, Brian was holding, you said, and what's the name I doing? Because he didn't even perform me. Uh, yeah, so, same as turn. It's my go now? Yeah. Okay, so, um... So he wants to cut his eye on the one at the back there. Um, he hasn't seen him, correct? So Zaymo was hiding from him. This and one and this him. one don't know you're there. Exactly. Um, so uh, that one's below on their deck, isn't it? That one. Yeah, this on one is on yeah, mid-deck. And this one is on He's the on hull. mid-deck. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So um, one second. I'm just going to like double-check something. Um, I just need... Let's see if I've got. I just um, what I'm going to check quickly is whether it's an action to apply poison to something. Um, in which case, on this ship, yes. <laughs> uh, he's constantly yeah, rolling, right. so it's quite yeah, dangerous doing it. Right. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a sneak attack on the back middle, so on the mid deck one. Okay. So because he hasn't seen me, so that should be an attack with advantage. Yep. yep. Okay, so I will roll the hit on that. With your bow, presumably. Yes, yes, yeah. So I'm shooting with the... Um, am I? I mean, I had the bow out, so, yeah, I'll just shoot him with the bow. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. So, second one. So, that would be... Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's 20. Oh, yeah. Um, that easily hits. Good. <laughs> Otherwise, I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so 1d6, 2 damage. Okay, so that's 4, plus 2, that's 6 points of damage, and then 2d6 sneak. So that's 6 plus 2, 8. To, uh, that's 12 points of damage. Wow, okay. Just colouring them up so that I can identify them. <clears throat> then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, then um, I'm going to sprint back the length of the trireme and go towards um, the oars as see if I can get behind there for cover. Okay. So either way, either other than that, so I'm going to move. I'm going to do my full movement, and then how far does that take me? Does it take me over the lip into the lower area of the? I'm wondering whether um, or maybe I can get like a uh, half cover from behind the oars that are sticking up the large oars at the back left. Uh, if you use your bonus action, you mean? Yeah, so I'm basically trying to see how far I can go. So if I go the full, so presumably I'll go full 30 or whatever, that'll take me just before the light source. Yeah, but there. And then I'd have to dash, and then I can dash to behind half cover, perhaps. Or uh, if you sort of tucked in here, you'd be... Yeah? Um, you'd be under... You'd be in half cover from everyone, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that that's what I'll do, is I'll just basically duck out of sight back there. Okay. So, uh, not ducking, hiding, but yeah, just back there. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, I'll see. All right, cool. Um, so, Harati, you're up now. All right, how far <clears throat> can I move um, and still potentially get an attack in? Uh, well, you can do your full yeah. movement, um, but you probably wouldn't get close enough to do anything but uh, ranged. Um. I mean, yeah, I know. That, that, that's, that I, I, I assume that. But um, so let's say um, there are three of them are on the upper deck and one's on the middle. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Now, if I wanted to, you know, leap up onto the mid deck and and then onto the upper deck, how far can I move towards the um, front of the ship? Uh, so you just need like a five, a five, a five, and a five. So that's twenty twenty feet to get to the to the top. Okay, so 20 feet forward and on the top. Can yeah, and then you could move forward another 10, so you could end up here on the top deck if you wanted to. Okay, can you extend the view so I can see where they are? Uh, is, is, that a, is that a circle of light? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the uh, yeah, lantern that's the that Zaymar dropped. Right, but it's, is that, it's, that's not on the top deck. It's on the mid deck, yeah. Right, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, he's gonna, like, Hrathi is gonna, uh, um, grunt to Bran, stay in cover. Okay. And he's gonna ch jump up to the top deck, um, and he's gonna shout at these elves, and he's gonna stand in plain sight. Okay. And what, what, what are you gonna shout? Listen, you motherfuckers. I'm Rathia of the Golden Leaf Gang. Surrender, or you're fucking dead. Because if I don't kill you, there's another ship with a certain bitch called Serene on. And there's enough people there to massacre the lot of you. Surrender and live. Fight and die. All right, roll intimidation. <laughs> mm, that could be better. Um, just because I'm really grasping for something here, mm -hmm. um, a certain skill that I'm currently using lets me uh, gives me advantage on strength checks. Which, because I use my strength for intimidation, this is that. So I have an advantage <laughs> on this. <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. I'll allow it, but um, I'll need to think about that for the future sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, seventeen could be could be worse. Would have been worse. <laughs> it really was grasping, but yeah. Um, however, something that does story. something that does lend a certain weight to um, your intimidation, in addition to the athletic leaping up onto the top deck, um, is a glow from behind. So your 
claymore is is showing hot white flames through its scabbard which in the darkness would stand out and glow pretty um, clearly to the others. Like a halo. Um, it's not like a halo. Like halo. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> why, did, why did we let him have that sword? It, it, incidentally, is it is it possible to hold an attack with my crossbow pending what they do? Because if they, if they attack me, I still want to be able to attack them back again. Um, I would say that if you're going to try and do this intimidation attempt, then that's your action. Okay, fair enough. I can live with that. Yeah. All right. Um, Adelbert, um, you need to roll a um, yes. death save. Oh, dear. Uh, eight. Oh. That's not very high. It is not. That's a fail. Yeah, yeah, one answer. <laughs> That's all right. It's not like you have two to more. Two more, it's fine. Yeah. All right. Fine, I'll save you. Um, let me just adjust that. Um, okay, Elithia, uh, you're up. Very quickly. Where's um, Baha in this? Um, Baha is up on the top, and you're right. He He was actually holding a movement, so he should be down with you. Um, but he hasn't got an action because he, because you can only do one at a time. Do remind me, he is actually um, towards the top of the round, so yeah, he will be acting shortly. Um, so uh, I will, um, I'll be like, oh, for God's sakes, why do you go for the clerics? Um, and then I'll um, uh, kind of slide back down. Um, to where Adelbert is. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to, this time, pick him up and cradle him. <laughs> <laughs> and God's cute wounds. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Would you like to roll your healing? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's not so bad. So that's five plus three makes eight. Can I cut the ball? <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, Bertie, what are we going to do? So, uh, would you like to describe how your your healing compares to <laughs> Adelbert's healing from from last week? Um. Yeah. So, my my healing is um is that like. I will look at where the wounds are because um, Alethia is a um, is a cleric, uh, not a cleric, like she's a healer. Um, and I'll put my hands over the wound, and I will. Have I um, crashed? By the way. No, you're fine. No, you're just, a bit you're just okay. yeah, you're a bit slow. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Then I put my hands over the wound, um, and then I'll try and like oppose the edges together. And then I'll chant, um, uh, asking for the blessing of Doraine. Um, and then there is a, there is basically a muted glow um, that's um, kind of like, I suppose, white in colour. Yeah. And um, that kind of comes from, that goes around the edges of the wound. Okay. Um, so, Adelbert. There you go. <laughs> you, you, as you regain consciousness, the edges of your sight has this kind of gentle glow, um, and you find yourself back on the hull, in cradled in the arms of Alithia. As I've come round, can I just quickly have like a reaction to see something? Yeah, sure. Just, I just kind of look up at her and go, "I'm not a cleric." I'm a librarian. <laughs> and kind of swoon back down again. All right. <laughs> so, um, at the top of the round, it is their turn. Um, and then Baha and Bran. Um, actually, it's Bran first and then Baha. So, um, they're actually heading backwards. 
Actually, end up in a cluster here. I think mm -hmm. that's sort of down a slight level, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little bit. The little stairs onto a platform here that is on top of the ram. Okay, so oddball here doesn't quite get as far as the others. <laughs> well, that's not going to be good for them. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, these two duck down and hide. Um, however, um, those of you who, who actually you can't see, actually none of you can see them anyway, because your dark vision isn't going to extend that far. Well, the, the lantern has dim light, one hundred and twenty feet. Yeah, but it's inside the ship. Oh, you you're holding it, aren't you? I'm holding it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, it's so, my light that's below. Harathia um, can see these two ducking down and attempting to hide, but um, you can still see the top of their heads. Um, so your light just catches the, um, the mole skin hat that they're wearing. Um, apart from this one, obviously, who's out in the open. Um, I think he's going to... He's actually going to flip over the side and try and hide there. So this one disappears from view. I mark them as black. <laughs> wow, they really disappear. That's, that's quite effective, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I'll have to remember where I put that. Anyway, um, right. so now it's um, Bran, um, who is, continues to hold, and then Baha. Um, Baha is going to move in front of both of you actually and just hold a, a longbow prepared okay say more hmm right so um okay um so it seems they Right, so what's the distance probably there? Is that like... It's about 100 feet. Maybe? It's about 100, okay. Mm. So I think my longbow is um, well over. It, it, it's got it within range, but like I think it's... Uh, let me just quickly double check my bow. Um, it looks like it's... So it's 80, okay. Yeah, 80 so, is here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so what I'm wondering is what I need to do... Um, if the, can I still see them if, if harassed it? Because I'm like, if I was to peek around the edge, would I be able to see them? Uh, yeah, so this one um, didn't make it to cover anyway. These two have um, done a poor job of hiding. Uh, so you can mm -hmm. actually see all of them. However, these two, because they went down some steps, um, they're basically 99% uh, covered. It's a very hard to hit. There's, <clears throat> there's one target who is easy to hit, and that's this one. Okay, so um, I'm not too worried about that because um, right, if I, hang on a second, just trying to think. <laughs> right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I will, um, I'm going to, so those are guys that, the, the elves below the deck, they are hidden and ducking out of sight. So if I hide from now and then move, I'm guessing that they won't be able to, I could do that. So I could move my, what I'm thinking is I can move my full movement all the way back up the boat. Um, uh, like give or take like five feet or whatever. And then what I'll do is I'll, yeah, so I'll just, if I move like 15 feet further forward, okay, but I want to hide. So I don't know whether to be able to 
hide from green. So I want to hide from Mr. Green, okay? Um, from the green elf um, as my action. So I'm going to hide, and then I'm going to move, like, 15 feet further forward. Can yeah? I ask you a question, Chris? Yes. Are you gripping, like, your long bow as you the do this? Bow. It's a short bow. Okay, but are you gripping your bow as you do this? Yeah. Why would I? Well, just because, Simon, do I, do I have a chance to say something else? If you want to burn a reaction, but it does mean you won't have a reaction if something happens to you. Right. Um, I mean, I guess what I can do is, I, given that he was waiting for them to do something, I could guess I... Yeah. No, I, 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 I think I would probably... Um, I think I'm probably still going to do what I'm going to do. The yeah. only way you could hide right. from green is um, using angle. So green yeah. can currently see over the top of the stair steps and just see mm -hmm. you at a distance. Although don't forget yeah. their their range of vision is is problematic as well. So they may not mm -hmm. be able to see you um, where you are. Um, you're using a bullseye lantern, right, Herathia? Yeah. So it's, it's a, yeah. Um, so the light is a, only this sort of angle. So you're currently in shadow, so you, nobody can see you, right? As far as you know. Yeah. So so I think what I'll do is I'll move to within eighty feet, right? which won't bring me into the cone of light, and I'm going to say that that's my hide action. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to move like 15 feet and hide just outside the range of where the bullseye lantern's cone of light is casting. And then, um, and then I'm going to try and shoot green again. But so my reaction, as he is holding a bow, mm -hmm. is to shout, nobody attack him. All right, that's a fucking order. In that case, I will, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my action and um, essentially I am going to stay hidden where I am and then if Green decides to leg it in any way, I will let the arrow fly and nail him. So if they surrender, Etc. So my action is, if they try to leg it and run away, I'm basically training my bow on him the entire time. And if it looks like he's going to leg it, I'll just shoot him. Okay. If that's okay, so I'm... Uh, so, I'm quite happy with my little note I put next to your name. If green leaves, shoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> sounds more like something that Lothia would say. Yeah, it's like a, a book about gardening or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that was Omar. Uh, Herathia, you're, you're back up. All right. I'm going to, you know, sling the, um, the crossbow. Okay. And I'm going to walk uh, up in full view of them all. Yep. And say... So, I ain't attacking. Let's talk. That sounds like persuasion to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. Um, Roll persuasion. How can I... How can I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I yeah. Bollocks. Yeah, I didn't know how I get out of that one. Okay, um, okay, let me give you let me give you some of Zaymar's strength on this. I'm going to I'm going to be praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me assist you. <laughs> just just remember just remember what Zaymar's voice. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, I, I don't think I can I can try and retrofit that or add something to it. I think that's just how it is. Yep. Um these things happen. They, they do, unfortunately. Um so, uh, yeah, this is not going to go well. Um, persuasion, persuasion. Okay, fine. Well, let's give it a go. You got this. <laughs> Ten? <laughs> <Can Yeah>. you, <laughs> <laughs> you don't got this. <laughs> That's a basic success. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, um... Okay, so you've said your piece. Um, the the words are sort of caught in the winds. Um, there is still a storm brewing, and, and it's it's quite um, loud on on the top deck. 
But you think they heard you. Um, there's no... There's no immediate obvious reaction, but you are quite a deal of a distance away and it is dark and while your light does shine on them occasionally it's it's hard to see an expression from there, so you're not sure what happened. Um, but it is now... Um, uh, sorry, Adelbert. Actually, technically you're both on the same initiative, so who's who's got the higher decks? Me. Yeah, so it should be Alithia first. What about Baha? Um, Baha is holding his action. He's got a longbow, and he's currently standing in front of you um, to okay. defend you. Although he's leaning on a, a a large light, which is in the way. So, um, just to check, when obviously, so I'm on the lower deck, but and there's a light, but I can only see 120 feet. Is that correct? So Herathia on the top deck has a light that extends the ship. Um, however, wow. you can't. You can only get glimpses of people from the angle of where yeah, you are because a, you're currently on the plank in the middle of the ship. But um, Neymar dropped a dropped a light there. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's. A, I can't remember what the radius was, but it, it wasn't very big radius. Oh, okay. It's like fine, thirty fine. foot or something, I think. Fine. So I have no idea. Do I have any idea where the um, crossbow men are? Hmm. No. Okay. Fine. But I know that they're uh, like on that. But can I see them? Uh, you would have seen them run off and jump right. up and all that action earlier. Right. You just don't know where they ended up. Fine. So I'm going to stealth along like um, the mid deck okay. and I'm going to go my full um, movement, which is 35 feet, towards the end of the boat. Yep. Um, God damn it. Is, do I see anything now? You've only got 60 feet of dark vision, right? So yeah, yeah, to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can only see as far as here. Um, although, Herathia is illuminating this one, so... Yeah, you can see that one. Is the, are they within 60 feet of me? No. Okay. Um, God damn it, okay. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, mask of uh, something or other to hide. Okay. Do you want to be a bit more specific? Hold on. Uh, it's not the mask. Send her a message. Send her a huh? message if you want to. Send no, it's not a secret. A she just can't remember the spell name, I think. Yeah, I can't. No, no, it's oh, right. a spell. It's, it's an ability. It's an ability. Oh, right, okay. Uh, uh, where are we? God damn it, where's it gone? It's basically, I can, like, hide um, when there's not not loads of, um, of uh, cover. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, God damn it, where is it? I never use this. This is why I'm just like, oh. Um, features and traits. Maybe it's in that. Uh, I'm just going to nope. look it up now. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, uh, Mask of the Wild. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to use Mask of the Wild. Uh, is there any light obscuration? Uh, for all of the people that you are trying to hide from, um, most of you is concealed if you're just crouched down because of the angle. Perfect. Perfect. So, okay, fine. So then I can I can just hide anyway. I'm just hiding. Okay. All right. Um, is that an action? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, Adelbert? So, I think Adelbert is incensed more by being called a cleric than he was by being shot. Um, so he's just kind of going to sit up um, he's going to cast Thaumaturgy so his voice kind of booms uh, really loud and in an elvish just, just shout I am no cleric I am a librarian stop, surrender and talk to us like civilised people all right, that's uh, with Thaumaturge, did you say? Yes. Okay, roll persuasion. Ooh, 
16. Okay. So again, um, because of the distance um, involved and the loud wind and the waves crashing against the ship, um, it's hard to get a read on the success or otherwise of this. 16, did you say? Yes. Okay. Alright. Um, uh Green is moving. Um, from your angle, um, you're just catching scattered light and glimpses as the ship rolls, Harathia's arm moves, and the, the light from his lantern is trying to keep trained on this direction. But what it looks like mm -hmm. from where you are is that green is, is floating up diagonally in midair. Um, however, from their motion, it looks like they're crawling along something. <clears throat> um, diagonally up. Yep. So they're crawling along a rope or something. Or Most likely, yeah. Like. Yeah. Um, but you do get your shot. Okay. Because I would uh, consider that legging it, even though it's a crawl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I will roll with advantage, I presume, then, as soon as I'm hidden. Yep. Right. Okay, that is uh, 14. That was an advantage of that, good grief. Uh, that, yeah, it's a difficult shot. Um, the boat is rolling again. Um, and as the, um, the arrow flies fairly true, um, the movement of the of the um, the elf um, suddenly spinning and ducking, um, and the arrow passes over their shoulder. It's a it, miss. It, it makes them more the same, I assume. But we noticed that he shot at them. Um, a roll perception. Seems a while since I did that. Um, uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, yeah. So you don't hear the noise. Um, Zamos' bow is very quiet, but you do see the arrow just as a movement out of the corner of your eye, and you sort of look look over and try and catch its um, path. So you see the arrow, and you know it's from um, Zamos' position. Right. Can I get you another few messages again? Sorry, uh, because. I want to know if I can say something, but it may be dependent on. Oh, on that. Um, you can change. It's up to you. So you can drop that and then say something. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Do I want to drop that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, crap. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't want to drop that. Unfortunately. Okay. Right. Um, so yeah, that was. This is on their turn. Um, the others are doing the same thing. So what you basically see is um, all three of them in a line crawling up a rope. You assume. Uh, the one that's hidden five. Definitely behind, anyway. I'll say that they're there. I'm very happy about that colour tint. That's super useful. <laughs> it's incredibly useful. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. All right. I'm fucking clear. Uh, Zayma, it's, it's now your turn. Hmm. Right, okay. 
Um, uh, okay, so I sent you a quick quick question. Um, that is just something that I might know or not. So, I, it, um, <laughs> but otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, um, say to the others, it's like, uh, I, I'm assuming that they can see that. I'm basically going to sprint forwards, okay. like just do it. I'm going to, you know, so basically Xehanort explodes into speed, sprints incredibly fast. Um, I'm going to dash as well and go right up to where the end of where their rope is. You've got a movement rate of 30, right? I've got a movement rate of 30, but with dash it makes it 60. Yep. I'm hoping. Can I get to the end there or not? Yeah, here. Yeah. That takes me to that sixty, is it? Yeah. With dash. Um, can I see the rope from where I am? Is it tied on, as I suspect, to the boat? Uh, you'd have to use your action to study that area. So, so It'd what be I'm a perception roll, basically. That, well, what I'm saying is that um, are from if I can see them, is that right? You can see them, yes. Right. So they're crawling at a diagonal. So therefore, if they're crawling, ropes don't hang vertically, right? <laughs> ropes should hang vertically unless they're yes. tied to something. So um, what I'm thinking is that I am going to run forward and then... Uh, see if I'm wondering whether I can move my use of my final action to move up and then have one of the minor actions just to undo the rope or something like that. It's so unlikely that a rope. Grab onto the rope. <laughs> it's unlikely that a rope that is attached in order to, be, for them no, to climb no, yeah, can yeah. be done with one of those um, moves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will um, move. I'm going to use. 15 foot or whatever, I'll move all the way down to okay. where that, to where the rope is. Okay. And I'm assuming I can't cut, cut it or anything like that, but that's simple. Not this turn, no. though. Okay. Um, is there a way that I can duck down and get some cover? So I'll basically hang on to, to the rope. You could um, drop prone. Can I, can I see if it's, can I see where it's going? Yeah, I can drop prone, basically, I suppose. Um, but I'm wondering if there's... Um, so on that speed of that rope, on the, if, where is it going? Is there any way to see where it's going? Uh, roll uh, intelligence. Okay. Low DC. <laughs> uh, I am going to use a luck roll. <laughs> that was the whole one. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, uh, that is 18. Um, it looks like it's probably the top of a um, cliff. So, looking up at that angle from the curve of the rope, um, mm -hmm. you would say that there's a, a sort of promontory um, cliff with a pointed um, peak, and it's coming from there. Right. How far is that? How far do they have to go to that cliff? It's a long way. In other words... Right, so they'd have to go all the way up that rope. So that rope's a... Do I think they could make it in one round? No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no this is minutes of... of if, well, this is a long climb. This is going to be 10, 15, 20 minutes of climbing. Right, OK. Uh, in that case, what I'm going to do, if, you allow, if you'll allow it, is I'm going to... Like, that guy is... Oh, that guy's already started climbing the rope, right? Yeah. yeah. He's just at the beginning. Can I say anything? Whatever. Oh, you can say something, yeah. Okay. I will say, please surrender. We will not harm you. We only wish to talk. And I will do it in my best convincing persuasion voice. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you've used your action for this round, so you can't persuade as such but um you can certainly say what you said um okay cool okay. so harathia you're up 
Which bit of, is a fucking order, don't you understand, Zaymar? I'm going to stomp up towards the front of the ship. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so you'll okay. also angle the, the lantern at them climbing up the rope. Okay. Um, you know, it seems like a strange way to escape to me. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, uh, yeah, sorry, another thing. Um, yeah, you lot. You'll still shout over your shoulder. <clears throat> um, have a look around this ship. See if there's anything that's, I don't know, worth anything. What the fuck? You know, worth all this fucking, what the fucking shit that we're putting up with. All right. He says it better than that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's grumpy because he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, you're up. Um, uh, I'm gonna say no. Oh, can I? Can I see the rope? By the way. Uh, same as um, Zaymar, you'd have to use an action to study that area. No, no, no. Can I see that they're like climbing up? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Rafi is no! lighting them up. I'm gonna cut the rope. Um. Uh, and then I'm gonna kind of go full tilt. Like, how far is it to get to the rope? You are, mm, it's probably a hundred, mm, probably 80 feet or something. I can count it for you. Yeah. But is it possible for me to burn a reaction to say something to Alithia? Uh, it's 65, 70, 75, 75 feet to green. Person. Okay, fine. And 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 how far is it to above, like the the one, like the one that's furthest away, like the one that's highest up the rope? Uh, was well, another five, ten, about fifteen feet after that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go. Wait. Uh, so so it's so it's it's fifteen plus sixty-five, right? Yeah. Okay, so that makes uh. 75 80 right yeah okay so i'm gonna go my full distance of 35 okay before you do that um did you, yeah. you zaymar you said you wanted to burn a reaction to say something if that's possible yeah if you will allow it uh yeah you haven't used your reaction yet yeah. yeah so what i would do is i would say you'd have to shout she, believe... she's miles away yeah uh, okay, I would, uh, if I see her, then I would say, Alicia, I believe you're the only one who can actually meet them at the top of the rope. I can't fly. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you go forward to 35, right? Yeah, 35. Okay. Okay. You're next to right, Rathia, but on the mid-deck. So, um... Uh, the top of the rope above the green man, like the one who's furthest away, is that within 60 feet? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. So I'm going to cast Ice Knife at the... Um, uh, like, I want to try and make sure that the five foot is outside of their radius, um, but I want to cut it above um, where they are so that they're the only um, uh, part that they're attached to is the boat. Is, they want to aim um, for the rope. Can I, uh, um, because I haven't done any action exactly, can I, again, I'm, I'm just doing a lot of talking in this session, but can I, because yeah, I'd notice her casting a spell, I assume, she's right next to me. Yeah. I said, no, don't attack him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to pay attention to him. Um, I All right, so, words. <laughs> uh, roll an intelligence check, Olivia. Oh, no, this ain't my best. Oh, that's not so bad, 17. 17. Um, from this distance, 60 feet, or, or it's actually like 45 feet or something, um, yeah. in the dark on a rolling ship, trying to hit a rope is really, really hard. A rope is such a tiny target. Um, you but can I'm try, but it's going to be super hard. I'm hoping with the shards, because I've got that five area, uh, five foot area of effect as well. Yeah, but you'd have to hit to make it shard, so it's not a good target for that. Oh, well, I'll try anyway. I mean, you can try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you'd have to... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a high uh, AC, basically. Oh, fuck. 
it's gonna be super hard all right come on big money big money big money all the money uh, that was actually that's actually really good uh that was um 18 plus 5 is 23 <laughs> 23 yeah. In my head, I, I gave it a DC of 22. Ah! <laughs> All right. Um, so you hit the rope. Um, there is no save as such. Um, so you can roll the um, uh, the shard damage as well. Um, okay, so that's 2d6. You will need to roll damage for the rope and... Um, the explosion because the rope okay. will have some hit points as well. Okay, so um, so it's one d ten for the rope. So that is uh, four, and uh, for the um, for the two d six, that is six in total. Okay. That's ten. I hope the rope is like less than ten hit points. <laughs> so. Um, this rope does look a lot tougher than most ropes, but that's a lot of damage. Um, so the, the, the impact of the, the ice shard doesn't um, sever it very much, um, but the explosion afterwards um, peppers it with enough damage that the weight, the tether, the, all the forces applied to it snap it. Um, so whereabouts were you aiming? So I was aiming for above the furthest man from me, so that basically the only attachment they have is now to the boat, so we can pull them up. So yeah. there, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, the, pulling them up is not exactly what will happen because they'll drop into the water. But yeah. Why will they drop into the water? Because like, gravity. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, they're holding onto the rope. Though. They're also pointing the wrong way. Your feet are going to be above you, so you're now going to be holding onto something below you. I am very, very happy with that because I do not want a very pissed off elf climbing up the rope right next to me. Thank you very much, Olivia. If you don't mind. All right, so um, there's an explosion of ice. Um, and uh, the rope is severed, um, and immediately they plummet out of sight, um, apart from... So only Zayma can see where, where they went, um, uh, and land in the I, water beneath. Can I see something? I can be like, oh no, I wanted them to come up! <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, so the, I would say there's a splash, but um, the, the, the seas are so heavy and the wind is so strong that you don't hear them hit the water, but um, they land in the water. Um, so that was Alicia. So we're at a bear next. I have any idea what's going on, considering my distance and the noise. <laughs> um, the ship is creaking around you. Bran is still <laughs> holding back there. Um, Baha is, is holding his longbow ready. Um, pretty much silent as far as you're concerned. You, you don't hear much going on. Um, you're actually in the hole, so the angle doesn't give you any view of anything that's going on. So no, you know nothing. Super. Um, I'm just gonna turn, turn, turn to Baha and just say, "This is familiar." <laughs> just kind of slowly pop a good berry into my mouth. <laughs> and now you and smile. <laughs> he smiles at you and says. Yeah, just wait next time. <laughs> can, I, can I just do a quick insight into whether that was threatening, kinky, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure he, a good bree is hardly... Well, actually, no, I, I think it is officially an action, but I'll let you do it anyway. It's an action, thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's a 13 for an insight. 13. Um... <laughs> It's just a patient, um, you know, having asked you to do many things that you have ignored in the past. Just repeating, you know, just take care, that kind of thing. Not kinky. I, s uh, <laughs> I right smile now. and chew my, my good breath. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, Zaymar, you see uh, the 
um, soldiers disappear underwater. And it's your turn. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, I am going to... I am going to take out a torch from my backpack and light it. And I'm going to go and move up onto the prow so that I can and get a good hold and basically see if I can see where they're going. Okay. So um, the platform is like this. So you could stand there and have a good view of this area. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm basically going to be start. I'm going to basically light the torch and then I'm going to spend my entire time looking for them to surface. Okay. What's the um, range of the torch? Uh, I imagine it's probably like sixty foot for a torch, isn't it? Like Let me just check. Do, 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 do. Uh, ah, providing bright, uh, bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. So only 40 feet. Probably not far enough, I'm sure they can swim. 40 feet, okay. Further underwater for all of that. Okay. Right here. All right. Oi, Brian, what the fuck are you doing over there? Get here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with that, I think I think we can safely say that we're out of initiative. Um, yeah. So just uh, let me know the kind of things that you're doing. We'll still chunk time into shorter um, um, measures, but um, we don't need to do in turn order. So, um, okay, Brian comes I'm loping gonna, along. I'm gonna... I'm going to turn to Harathi and be like, you told him to be there. Don't be so mean. Bron actually sort of runs along the hull, leaping over the bodies and, and then skids to a halt, looks up at the, I mean, the only person you can see this is Adelbert, um, looks up at the, the complicated arrangement above him and then turns back around and goes back again. Uh, he, has no, he has no idea how to get to where you are. <laughs> Uh, but he's going to try. Prathy is going to point at Lithia and look really aggressive and says, Nice fucking use of that spell. And I thought it so too. Anyway, uh, he's going to he's going to run to the end because he wants to see um, okay. what's happened to the, the elves in the water. All right. Um, Alithia, what are you doing? I'm also going to go to the end. All right. See what's happened to them. Adelbert? <clears throat> After I finish seductively eating a good berry, I am going to uh, kind of get up, walk down to the, the bodies and kind of try to examine because uh, based on the light that there is, it's the damage looks unusual, so potentially an esoteric check onto what may have caused it. Okay, so you're doing an investigation effectively? Yes. Okay, cool. So in, in combat, you can only have like one good read at a time. But if we're out of com combat, can I stuff a whole load of my mouth in one go? <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, yeah. All right, so I, I'm going to eat them all then, all okay. the ones that I've got. Um, um, in the meantime, I'm going to turn to Olivia. Uh, what? Uh, you can't fly, but uh, can you can you swim? No. <sighs> okay. It's, so you you can just turn into the large cat. That, that that's right. Which and aren't, horses, aren't obviously. And horses and spiders. Uh, spiders, yes, yes. Also not useful in the current situation. Well, there we go. That, that, I can I, turn I into a bird, but it doesn't fly. <laughs> oh, it, uh, you can turn into a chicken. <laughs> I can turn into an axe beak. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but. Uh, it's like an ostrich. So, oh. so I'm going to shine my torch into the water as well. Is, is there absolutely no sign of anyone? 
So Just ignoring that conversation. <laughs> Just imagine um, we're talking about waves that sometimes reach the height of a person um, and sometimes are, are just choppy. Um, so the, the, the texture of the water is constantly moving and it's, it's pitch black apart from where you're shining the torch or the, the lantern. And when you shine the lantern, the light reflects off the surface of the water. So it's incredibly difficult to see anything beneath this spray and this... Um... I'm only trying to see them on the surface if they come up. No, um, um, there's no I sign of them. I shot back to, to, um, to uh, Adelbert. Adelbert, is there any way you can provide any light over here, for, perhaps? All right, We're so... struggling to see them below the water. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of armor were they wearing? Uh, they didn't appear to be wearing any. So just the, the question I have, just being being cheeky, wasn't our boat of four men on kind of holding onto the boat on this side, looking directly at them? Mm -hmm. uh, your sneak boat is at the back of the trireme here. Behind, oh, okay, behind the thing. Don't worry. Um, uh, do we speak to anyone in the sneak boat? Are we still in the um, in the Hall of Echoes? They're not in the Hall of they Echoes. They in the Hall of Echoes. No. Oh. no. So, to, to Arrowbear, then, in the Hall of Echoes, can you message those buckos? They might be drowning. All right, before, before we move on to that, um, Adelbert did say he was doing an investigation, so let's let's cover that first. So, um, esoteric roll. Is this your first of the day? I think it is. Of the day, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you may know better than me, Simon. Isn't Esoteric just a straight D20? Uh, I did look at it recently, and I, I can't remember. Um, I think so. Yeah. I don't, I, I, it might be a wisdom. That was a twelve. Then. Oh, okay, you might get wisdom on it though. I'm not sure. Seems like a wisdom type of thing. It'll be a twelve. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> a twelve. Um, yes. Okay. Um, Probably better doing investigation. <laughs> Uh, you need to discuss your uh, findings um, and questions and theories with Alithia, I think. On your own, it's you're struggling to identify anything that's that's um, useful or um, indicative of what happened. Super. Mm. Okay. Um, then I'll head upstairs. If there's, if there's still no sign of anyone there uh, in the water, I'm going to get I'm going to get my rope out, tie it around my waist, wrap it around. There's bound to be a post or something on the end, end, end of the ship. Give the end of that rope to Zayma. I'm going to dive in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like standing there looking at this rope when he dives in, and I'm like <laughs> thinking about throwing the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks so like briefly as he watches it rapidly unravel before him as Kathy is like look, turns like desperately to, to Alicia and then uh, ties it onto a, uh, the ne <laughs> the nearest uh, um, part of the ship that I can easily tie it round. Uh, I will secure it as best I'm able. All right, so um, Adelbert, as you're trying to get to the top deck. How do you wish to get there? Um, you can do what everyone else has done, which is um, a maneuver to get onto the mid deck and then the top deck, or you can walk back to the ladder here. There are stairs. <laughs> there are stairs, yeah. Right. Why wouldn't I use the stairs? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or at least someone in our group needs to have a little bit of, kind of common sense. All right. Um, Baha will go ahead of you up the ladder. Uh, Bran, meanwhile, is is racing down the the top deck um, and arrives just in time to see Harathia leap overboard um, yeah. and uh, skids I, I, to a halt. Uh, I'd have gone the other side where where I think where the elves went in. Okay, sure. Um, 
I'm I'm going to take out my telescope, and I know it's probably pretty futile, but I will start scanning. Okay. Um, yeah, it's incredibly hard to see what you to make out what you're seeing through a telescope um, with the shifting waves, but it might help depending on where they are. Um, I am just actually well, going to remove. I have a potential luck roll. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so, while Harathia has dived in and starts swimming, w which direc direction are you swimming, Harathia? Well, if if they're just concealing themselves, then they'll be climbing up the hull or something like that. So, I'm really after drowning men. So, wherever they were vertically is more or less where I'm I'm diving down and. and yeah, I know it's going to be pitch black down there, so I, I'm just I'm just going in what I think is sort of you know a vaguely sort of circular motion and, and diving down. Okay, and I assume you left your bullseye lantern on. Yeah, the deck. yeah. Sorry if I didn't say <laughs> that. I've got my I'd have, I've got I'd have, my torch. I'd have put placed that on the on the um you know the whatever that bit of deck's called. Right? Yeah. Um, forecastle. It's not much of a castle, but... It's, no, it's a step down for a castle. Yeah. Um, all right, so you've died in it. Um, while Heratia is sinking down um, and Zaymar is trying to decide what to do with the rope, um, what, do, what are you doing, Alicia? I'm going to turn to Adelbert and say, Bertie, can you light me? So, on um, me. Bertie is 100 feet away currently, but you can say that in the Hall of Echoes. Yeah, I'll say in the Hall of Echoes. You can reply if you like, um, Adelbert. Yeah, as I'm sorting down the deck. On fire, or... No light. As I walk down the deck... Hurry up, can I, can I see anything that is... An average said that won't sink too quickly, but I could just drop into the water and provide light from like a barrel or something like that. Um, you're, you're looking for a barrel, did you say? Well, just something I can... Because I'm gathering what's being used, but I don't want to light up Ellie and throw her in the water. So it's like a, there's a nothing. The top deck is, is, is empty apart from some rope. Wait, can I... What about... Can I or can how I big are the... Can I see this at all? I, I, if I if I see this and I see him casting around looking for stuff, uh, well, I... he's walking along the top deck at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Oh right. Okay. I'll, I won't say anything. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. yeah. Light me, light me. How easy would it be to kind of get an oar? Um, the oars are all um, all over the place. Actually, it looks like they were they were kind of abandoned um, in a hurry. So. Um, some are still in oar position, some have floated away, some are inside the hull. Cool. But I... from the top deck, you can't reach an oar. Not easily. You'd have to lean over the side and do perilous things. No, no. <sighs> Alright, while, while you think about that... <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Zaymar, do you want to roll um, your uh, perception? Um, you uh, are not at disadvantage because you're using the spyglass. Mm -hmm. That's good, because I am going to... Use... Um, I'm going to... Uh, okay, let me just roll perception and see what... Okay, that was a terrible roll. <laughs> I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use a luck roll again. Okay, so that is 24. Okay. Um, so flicking around, sort of scanning all the different um, angles from where you are, um, there's nothing visible. Um, there's no sign of them. And Harathia, you can't see any sign of them either. Um, as you said, it's pretty dark. Um, so you've got very short visibility, but there's no sign of where you are. 
I may have miscalculated this. In that case, as I get closer, um, I'm going to say into the Hall of Echoes, um, Horathia may the, the Huntress light your way. I'm going to take out one of my silver horns from my satchel, okay. uh, cast light, and kind of drop that over the rope because it's something that could be easily held onto and used as a lantern while swimming. Okay. So you're strolling up with a um, rope with a light spell on it, basically. What did you say the range was? Might as well use this. For the uh, light. Yes? Yeah. Or radius, rather. Uh, 20 feet and an additional bright light 20 and an additional 20 dim yeah. <laughs> that's a bit large I'm going to have to find a better <laughs> method for this but it'll do for now <laughs> uh, it does get, it give an indication of scale I, I have to say that um, as soon as you drop it in the water the, the, that radius will be different it will be mainly yes. dim light um and a very short um, radius, but um, it's an effective tool for sure. Can, um, I, can I use it to see anything? Yeah, so as soon as it drop, drops down, um, you are immediately alerted to this. You're sort of hanging on, on this rope in complete blackness, freezing oh, no. cold. Just, just, um, I, I want to recharacterize what you're saying. I'm not hanging onto a rope, I'm swimming underwater with a rope tied around my waist. Ah, oh, right, okay. You are heroically swimming deep down underwater with a rope Thank tied you. around your waist. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and suddenly to your side, you see this area light up and this this bright, unnatural light fall through the, the water. Although obviously what, when you drop a rope into water, it doesn't go very far because the weight of the rope. Um, I, know, I didn't tie the horn to the light. I dropped it kind of where the rope was, where Harathia would be. Like he, he, he kind of hooked, hooked it onto the rope so it will like slide down the rope. I oh, know, no, I just dropped in a, a, a glowing <laughs> horn. <laughs> in any case, I'm going to see the, the, the lighted yeah. object. I'm going to swim to get it okay. and, then, and then use it um, as I swim underwater. Okay. Um, the, these horns are Meanwhile, tiny, Adelbert, unless you're thinking of a different horn. Oh, I thought they were. No, they're about an inch. Um, the biggest thing I have on me. You want a big, something big and heavy. <laughs> yeah. I've got. Yeah, I've, I have. Well, I can't say anything. <laughs> like me. And then if, throw a litter over, get, overboard. <laughs> if I get the, if I get the so, the chance, I would like just hold in one of my. I'm just going to hand in one of my uh, non-lit torches. Yeah. So oh, I walk oh, down and say to Ellie. I can say, if you won't like me, have some amber oil, and I'll give him like, <laughs> some amber oil. Everyone is handing uh, you things, Adelbert. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'll say to, to Ellie, um, very kind offer, Ellie. I don't mind if Harathia drowns, but I'd rather not lose you. Um, I, I take the, the lantern, because it has a, a handle, it's probably easier to swim with, then a piece of wall. <laughs> it's a torch. Um, it's a torch. If I was holding that, please. even easier to, to hold onto. It's, it's so a piece I'll, of wood. <laughs> yeah, even easier. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll light that and drop it in. Meanwhile, I would like to talk into the Hall of Echoes. Um, Harassir, the rope. That's where I would be heading towards. If the rope has dropped into the water, they may still be attempting to scale the cliff. Right. Uh, just so I understand exactly what's gone on with this whole thing. This rope was attached to the ship and attached to the cliff. Now, Alithia severed the rope between them and the cliff. Yeah. So the rope attached to the cliff would have swung onto land, effectively, yeah. in that direction. And the, the, bit of, the other bit of rope would have, would have moved towards the boat. Now, it seems to me, just like um, the chances of finding one of these people in pitch black water is pretty remote, them finding it at the end of a rope 
is possibly sort of dangling on, on, on you know, rocks to break your boat on is probably not, not a thing that, that, that they would be doing. Yeah, the rope, the rope would have fallen short. into the water um, on both ends, a short end near the ship um, and the long end um, away from the ship. Um, and then, yeah, it would, it would be difficult to find. You're right. I, I, I take the point, though. They might be going in that direction. Um, and I'm probably too busy swimming at stuff to, to, to reply. Um, <clears throat> have I... Have I uh, well, I mean, so at that present, there's a, there's a, a torch with a light spell cast on it mm. near me somewhere. So I can grab that at least. Yeah, you'd need to swim up to get it. Um, obviously, torches are made of wood, so they float. Um, OK, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll grab it, and then I'm going to hold it out and see if I can see anything. OK. Are you going to head? So the other end of the rope would sort of be further away, so you'd need to head out in that yeah, direction. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, and when, the, when it starts to you know, get tired, I'll probably just undo the rope around my waist. Okay. <laughs> we now have Herathia. Um, so the world's used. largest rubber band. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> right, so you're heading over in that direction. Um, meanwhile, Elithia, what are you doing? I'm going to turn to Bertie again and be like, can you message the people in the sneak boat to get, get them to come up towards this way? And if they're swimming, they can maybe try and catch them. Uh, I need to know where they are, um, so I turn and start walking back towards the sneak boat, okay. being ordered around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally in. Like you're a librarian again. Yes. <laughs> Take this book, what's happened, to it? what's the latest read? <laughs> Just one thing after another, <laughs> file this book. Bran currently has his paws up on the um, uh, at the edge of the the top deck, and he's whining, looking in the direction of the light. <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, Zemo, what are you doing? Um, essentially, I'm just going to. Um, uh, my plan is to just look back on the rest of the boat. So I'm going to sort of just be scanning around. Um, obviously, I think what I'll do actually is I'll quickly nip back and make sure that the top part of the boat is lit. But um, on the way past, I'm going to sort of um, ask, you know, I'll circumnavigate quite wide first round for on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't pay you any attention to you. <laughs> Which is good, as far as I'm concerned. And then uh, talk to Baha. Um, can you, Baha, uh, in amongst the other things that you're asked to do, I wonder if you might uh, keep an eye on the ship. If they decide to crawl back on here, I'm not sure how they would easily scale it, but uh, uh, if you can keep an eye out back here uh, for any of these uh, borders if they decide to return to the ship. Sure. Um, I'm sticking with Adelbert, obviously, but I'll keep him out. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is just go and have a quick scour of the rest of the ship, see if I can see anything. Okay. So, um, a broad investigation of the entire ship. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to pick up. I'll pick up my. Uh, I'll pick up my. Um, my lantern on the way. Okay. My hooded lantern. Yeah, which is here. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. All right, so um, Adelbe, you're you're reaching sort of um, sneak boat direction. Um, Karathia, roll perception. Seven. Seven. Yes. Seven. Um, the salt water is beginning to sting uh, your eyes, so you're you're bl blinking rapidly, trying to um, see through the murk. Um, with the royal of the, the waves, it's there's a lot of debris uh, from the the floor, the sea floor, um, which is making the area around you quite hard to see through. So you don't see anything. You don't see what you're looking for. Going. Yeah. All right. So you head out a bit more. Um, obviously, you can stay underwater for quite quite a few minutes, but um, just bear that in mind as well. You might need to go up for air. 
Yeah, I, I mean, it's slightly different now, because when I thought they, were, they might be sinking, then I was underground, uh, underwater, but if I think they're actively swimming back to towards the, you know, the shore, such as it is, yeah. um, then I would not have to spend most of my time underwater. I mean, I, I would still be checking underwater, but, you, you know. You're sort of dipping up and down, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, Alithia? Made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Um. Uh. I'm not sure what. Oh. Um. Just going back. The um. Uh. The thing that kind of had done the deaths that killed the people. I thought it was some sort of animal, right? Uh. The the wounds looked like they were caused by an animal. Yes. Right. And did I manage to figure out what animal it was? No. Okay, fine. Um, is there anything like that nearby that I can see? I'd want to look out for something like that. Um, you kind of get the impression the entire hull is filled with bodies, so you'd have to move from where you are, um, but you could drop down to the mid-deck here and then drop down to the hull here. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure that there's no kind of creepy monsters aboard. Okay. Um, so, just do a, an acromatics um, check to get yourself down into the hole. 18. 18. Uh, you swing through the planks and the beams and drop onto the floor. Um, that was pretty impressive. It's a shame nobody saw it. <laughs> All right, Adelbert, um, you are going to send a message to the sneak boat? Yes, as soon as I see them, I just kind of point and say, um, possible uh, enemies in the water to our, um, to my side. Uh, come along quietly, please, and see if you can see anything. All right, cool. If, if found, apprehend, but be warned, they are dangerous. And then I'm just going to walk back down to the hole. Okay. So you just kind of. Yeah, I, I don't know if she's there. But I'm just going to. Uh, <laughs> because it because it fits. Um, okay. Hall of Echoes, uh, everyone. Ellie, can you meet me by the pile of eviscerated corpses? Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just not quite... Which, which pile of eviscerated corpses? <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, um, Ferathia's thinking as he's... Yeah, I know, unusual, but he's thinking whilst he's swimming in the water. Yeah. Um, how high are the cliffs that this rope was attached to? Uh, you've got a choice. You can either try and see which is hard, um, you'd have to do a perception check, or you could use history to remember your knowledge of the coastline here. Uh, I'll use history because I'm trying to see elves in the water. Um, so I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be distracted from that. So, right, gotcha. Uh, and the history. Yeah, well, um, that is, uh, that's ten. My super, super... Uh, rolling continues, but I'm not disappointed in this case. <laughs> uh, ten is enough to know that most of the coves in this area are not great for landing. Um, you don't use them very often because um, they tend to have cliff edges rather than beach. Um, or um, the, the coast doesn't come down to the water. It just drops as a cliff. So, yeah, it's likely that the only way out is a cliff right what i'm trying to gauge is is how long this rope was and how on earth they would manage to attach to the top of the cliff and to the boat at the same time okay so so you know it's a cliff roughly do, can i remember roughly how high it is um you don't know how high it is um you can, yeah, you'd have to swim up to have a look. Um, but it's probably in the hundreds of feet. 
Right, and do I can I see how roughly how far I've swum and how far there is to go? Oh, um, yeah. By now, I mean you'd, you'd be off the map. Um, you're probably approaching rocks at this point, so okay, you're getting so towards the cliff bottom. I'll, I'll probably I'll probably slow down a bit and take it a little bit easier. I do have a light, of course, so that will help. Yeah. Um, all right. So if I can, in the hall, in the hall of echoes, um, I'll just say, how the fuck did they connect the did they tie a rope onto the ship and the top of the cliffs? How do you how do you fucking do that? An arrow. With over a hundred foot of rope, I don't think so. Ropes are fucking heavy. We were at the top, it's possible. Yeah, I, it is an interesting thing. I wonder if you were coming down, it might be easier. You could simply dive into the water with the rope and then swim on, attach the climb up onto the boat, and then attach the rope. So jumping or scaling down the cliff with the rope. You tie the rope at the top of the cliff, scale down using the rope, swim across to the boat, and then attach it when you're there. That's how I would do it. But that means that they would approach the boat themselves, which begs the question, uh, how did they find themselves to the boat? So hmm, that would be how I would do it. I don't... I don't know what caused these wounds, but I have... These aren't crossbow wounds on these people. No, it's a monster. I think they were perhaps here for a similar reason we were. At least not, um, potentially not the cause of all this. Uh, As... No, go on, Chris. Uh, me? Yeah? Okay. Uh, one thing I was going to point out is that uh, it's quite clear that they, as you say, Adelbert, that the, they have been given a mark perhaps the mark was given to more than one crew, so to speak, or more than one uh, organization. It perhaps is. these are over. It is possible. As I walk around the piles of corpses, um, can I look to see if there's anything that doesn't look sailory and looks rather princessy? <laughs> uh, sure, roll investigation. Um, but meanwhile, we, we before your investigation, mm -hmm. we have... Uh, Zaymar's more general investigation. So, uh, do you want to do your role, Zaymar? Yes. Let's hope I roll better than what I've been rolling for <laughs> bloody... Oh, for God's sake. Um, <clears throat> that was a no. <laughs> no, that was a no, 11. Oh, do I use another... Do you need some yeah, help, Zaymar? To. You're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not struggling. <laughs> okay, uh, 15. I'm, I'm going to go up to Zaymar. Wait, have I done anything yet? You are currently meeting up with Adelbear. Um, right, never mind. Okay. Um, sorry, I, I, I missed the roll, um, Zaymar. Yeah, it's 15. 15, okay. Um, that was with luck, was it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to rub it in, I was just checking. Um, yeah, I know, it's fine. <laughs> so, the general appearance of this ship is the crew, the rowers, um, soldiers as well. Um, so, the, the entire body of people that were on this ship are dead and lying inside the hull. Um, there appears to have been a, um, a combat going on between the crew and some other things. Um, but what gets your interest is the back of the boat, um, there is a room which is used for various purposes, storage sometimes. In this case, that room is kitted out as a, um, a passenger room with a bed and a chest. Um, and that room is also in disarray as if a struggle happened, um, but there's no blood or bodies or anything it's just the furniture and so on has been um, pushed aside and knocked over and there are some broken items on the floor um, mm. the chest itself is is thrown open and empty um, and there's no items of interest in that room 
Um, but there was definitely a struggle. Is there any... Um, there's, right, so there, I wonder if there's any affectation of um, female nature, etc. Okay. Um, so you're going to take a deeper study of that room. Meanwhile, um, we have some other investigations going on. So um, Alithia and Adelbert, you meet up. Um, what's the first thing you want to look for or work on? Um, I think as I was going towards Ellie, I'd, I'd be keeping an eye out for princessy corpses. Okay. Um, roll... Actually, it's up to you. Perception or investigation? Investigation is a dirty 20. Okay. Um, definitely no princess. Um, all the females that you see are rowers or soldiers. Um, yeah. I kind of... I say in the group, um, it looks like the princess isn't here I think somebody got their mark after all um, and then just to, to Ellie um, you're you're definitely right this isn't uh, this is an animal attack what, what what do you make of it I think it's unnatural do I think it's unnatural yeah <laughs> okay. convincing you're very convincing <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a closer look at one of the uh, gashes, one of the larger slash wounds? Yep. Just kind of see what sort of claw, what sort of, or even one of the bites to see the shape of the mouth, the um, the formation of the teeth, etc. If, if I see him doing that, can I um, tap his shoulder and say, may Doreen bless you? I'll bring you with me. Huh? <laughs> I'll bring you with me for your for your insight your nature knowledge but yes oh, I'll accept a blessing thank you <laughs> all right um, as you uh, lean forward and study very carefully um, one of the uh, larger wounds roll um, investigation with advantage and um, the blessing plus four d4 sorry okay investigation with advantage okay that is 19 plus a d4 is 21. Nice. Okay. I like investigation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very lively thing. Like, find yeah. the book that you wanted. This is it. How can I show off my knowledge? Well. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to hold that um, and swiftly go over to Zema. Um, roll investigation for your check of the room. Goodness me. Um, 13. 13. Um, you do find a um, broken gold chain, um, a necklace of some kind. Um, it's a very light, um, thin necklace, but it looks quite expensive. Um, it's kind of caught in the gaps between the planks and in the hull. Um, and you, you can't tell directly from that whether it's a, a female necklace or a male necklace, but it's definitely jewellery. Um, and um, Adelbert, as you lean forward and sort of study and, and exchange ideas and, and point out um, various things to Alithia, um, the two of you come to the conclusion that whatever creature, singular, did this, um, it must have a very large mouth like huge because some of those bite marks the teeth they're massive and, and you've got no idea what it is and as the ship creaks around you and you come to that conclusion we will end the session well, at least it wasn't, and as you hear a low growl from behind you. <laughs> I know, exactly! <laughs> I was like, what? That's what I was oh, dear, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, same! Alright. <laughs> cool. Well I'll done. just uh, turn the sound, sound effects off. <laughs> um, so, if you have time, then yeah. I have questions. Absolutely. Alethia is very sorry she messed up. 
Why? What did you mess up? He cut the rope and we lost the the um, elves. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, shit happens. <laughs> yeah, like like it, physics don't work in her head. She was just it, like, yeah, yeah, they'll be holding on, and we can pull them up. <laughs> it was a good shot. It was yeah. a good shot. It was an amazing shot. Yeah, but yeah, the wrong but, shot. Well, I don't know. I mean, you're you're right. If they if they if, if all they were concerned about was just surviving and getting back on board, then they would have kept the hold of the rope. Mm. Mm. Quite funny. All the things I kind of planned last session, um, <laughs> and then we stopped. It's like, okay, I'll do that when we start again. And then even before my first time, then my first turn, I'm down. It's like, well, that's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> What was the uh, what's the classic saying? No plan to buy first contact with the enemy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, first question is for Matt. Um, Adelbert mentioned that he is his he is his own elf when it comes to the huntress and her wishes. What does he want to do with the mark? Um. I think more than anything, he wants to know what it is about them that means Serene would potentially cross his path. I mean, in, in his mind, he's wonderfully complex and magnificent, but really it's quite a simple path. He just wants to be ruler of the universities of the world. Just full knowledge, just this amazing thing. Um, so he's like, I mean, she's a thug. What, do, what does she want which could go against this? Um, yeah, so that's probably what he'd actually want to know, is just why are they after you and what's it got to do with me? Fair enough. Um, question for Mads. How at home does Alithia feel when out at sea? Not at all. So she is used to the coastline um, because of where she... Um, was where she kind of has been in terms of her um her sanctuary and the restway and all of that sort of thing but um and she's been out to sea a few times when she's helped out with the golden leaf um for you know odd missions and stuff like that but actually kind of like fights out at sea like what the hell man <laughs> what's she supposed to do <laughs> all right uh, Mr. Roberts, what does Heratia think of gods in general? I think he sort of thinks they're a bit irrelevant. I mean, you've got to bear in mind that most of his life, any exposure to sort of religious people seemed conspicuously absent of any evidence that whatever they worshipped was significant, influential, or actually did anything. So um, he still has that sort of mindset, even though there are clearly are beings that that can grant powers and stuff, mm. um, and and do things that perhaps mortals can't. So the, the 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 actual fact of that is probably not quite seeped into his head just yet. <laughs> so he still he still sort of views a religion as a mug's game. Mm. Okay. Question for Mr. Harris. Um, Zaymar requested at least some kind of plan before boarding the trireme. Did he get one? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like we went across in a boat, so a sneak boat, so that was good. Except for Zaymar hates sneak boats. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I don't think so. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what he probably would have done differently but that's not really what he thinks about he's normally like well we didn't stop and plan so therefore i would come up with something much better <laughs> <laughs> let's just get in the boat and row over <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like as being barreled along by her out there yeah right. no i don't think so uh, question for matt adobert seems very confident when talking about magic and esoteric knowledge what area of conversation does he not feel confident about? Um, 
things that don't relate to him. <laughs> if that's a, someone starts talking about their, their their life, their interests, he'll be like, yes, yes, jolly good. Um, I have to go now. Um, but in all serious, Adelbert likes facts. I mean, as I said, he, as he reminds everyone, he's a, he's a librarian. He likes knowledge. He likes knowing things and ideas so when things become more abstract he he's not as fond mm. because it's not if there's not a definitive answer that he knows or he can convince people he knows it gets a bit odd which is where it's interesting in terms of, of magic i mean this is a an element which there is so much unknown um, but he's just like, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> because he's the expert in the group in his mind, so he can say what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, a question for Mads: When Alithia first stepped onto the hull of the trireme, what was she feeling? Uh, I think there was some anxiety um, because she's got no idea what was going on. And she knows that she's quite squishy. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I think there was that anxiety being like, what's going to happen here? And then there was a little bit of shock because the first thing she came across was like blood and then dead bodies. Um, and I think she was finding it quite difficult to just kind of commute, compute everything together and... Uh, yeah, there was that side. But then there's also kind of the excitement side of it being like, oh, this is an adventure. Oh, we're doing like, you know, something exciting and um, what's going to happen around the corner sort of thing. Mm. Until she goes. I'm being shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until she goes. bolt. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look at that crossbow bolt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Roberts, when Alithia first stepped onto the hull of the trireme, what was Harathia feeling? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Because normally he works with people who are a bit more predictable. So, you know, he expects them to do their, their job, report back, and then and then you move forward. And admittedly, although he wouldn't admit it, he doesn't exactly plan. <laughs> because he always figures, well, plans never survive first contact with enemies. So what's the fucking point? But you do do certain things that, 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 that make your life a little bit easier, hopefully. Mm. Um, and he's never quite sure what Alithia is going to do. However, having said that, because he is working with her, then he's working with her because she's useful. comes back to that again. She's useful. She can do it. It's just a question of whether she will do it. <laughs> All right. Um, and the, fi the final one in this run, uh, Mr. Harris, when Alithia hit the deck, what was Zaymar feeling? Uh, honestly, um, I'm glad I didn't go down. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go first. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, yeah, he wouldn't see that. I mean, that was literally the first thing that was just like, yep. The ocean have gone down there. That was a good idea to not go down there, um, and certainly not to go down there in full view. Um, the, the second thing was um, genuinely uh, okay. That's really bad. These guys are like, yeah. He was immediately. He didn't really have time to feel bad for Alicia because he immediately was assessing the threat. There's something to attack her and then take her down so quickly. He was immediately worried for the entire group. Like, this could be, like, really serious. So he immediately, it's like, there's nothing, he immediately switched out of, there's nothing I can do for her. I just need to focus on what's next, which mm. is find out, A, if there's any more of them, <laughs> like, really quickly. And B, like, what can I do to actually slow them down, you know, throw basically circumnavigate around. He wasn't expecting them to come up onto the deck, so, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was more like uh, there's nothing he could do for her, so he's just, like, right, focused on the next bit, which sounds a bit harsh, but... <laughs> 
He's not very good at healing. <laughs> if you want poisoning, then you'd be absolutely right off the street. So he's quite capable of making it far worse for you. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, point, point or otherwise. Question for Matt. Um, Adelbear rushed to Alithia's aid and then surprised everyone with a massive heal. I'm surprised as the ultimate show off, he hasn't used that ability before. I think in one way the dice were A, very lucky, but B, they fit the moment. Um, I think that massive heal reflected the concern he had for Ellie. Oh. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> she is she is the one who kind of looks after him in a a human way. She's the one who ha- gives him the, the human touch, the, the interaction, the, the friendship that he, he craves. So it was really the dice roll was actually wonderful because I think it really, really reflected that. Um, whereas Adobe doesn't like being second fiddle. So generally he leaves the healing to Alithia because that's her that's her domain. It's where mm. she shines. And if he I mean, why do something if you're gonna be second best when he can be the best in everything else he does? <laughs> so it's, it's just yeah, just leave it to her, that's her job. Uh, and I'll be the brains. Makes sense. Uh, question for Mads which was better waking in Adelbear's arms or feeling the rough tongue of a direwolf on her face um, I'm really sorry Bertie but the di- <laughs> direwolf <laughs> <Bro wins. laughs> I'm really sorry my big emotional speech and she's like yeah the dog <laughs> <laughs> you don't know this though you don't know what Alithia was saying <laughs> I meant like... my big emotional speech just then Oh, yeah. Sorry, I don't know. No, I know. The thing is, right? I think obviously it's it's lovely. It's amazing what Bertie did, and that was such a lovely moment. Um, but um, I think with Alithia, she actually feels pretty comfortable and like secure with Adelbert. Hmm. Um, and it's like out of all the rest in the group, she doesn't feel she has to like kind of have her back against, like, like he has her back. She doesn't have to watch her back. There we go. Um, mm. Whereas with the others, she can't trust them with that necessarily. So it was really lovely. But also it was a kind of like, well, yeah, because this is my friend. Um, uh, and, um, like, he's the only one who will do this. Everyone else she would have been a lot more shocked by, essentially. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think the fact that, like, um, she's kind of being accepted by someone else. Like, obviously she, she massively appreciates, like Bertie's like her, you know, her family now. Mm. Um, but uh, she massively appreciates that. But um, the fact that she might be being accepted by Bran and other people, that's, that's huge too. All right. Um, question. I'm f- sorry, Matt. <laughs> no, that is the answer I expect you to say. I think it makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question for Mr. Roberts. Um, if the Golden Leaf Gang had a motto, what would it be? I don't know. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you do know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think basically, you know. Um, yeah, I think I think I think fuck you. We're gonna a big do finger to the world. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want live, laugh, love plastered across the door. <laughs> no. No. Um, yeah, like home is where the dire wolf is, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, question for Mr. Harris: Does Zaymar see himself as a gang member or a contractor? Uh, he. Ooh. <clears throat> That's a tricky one to answer. I think he started off being a contractor, and he mm. certainly would, if he was asked, 
then he would say he's a contractor. But he's very much trying to be a gang member. Mm. I just don't think he's very genuinely very good at it. <laughs> he's, um, it's just gang members require, you know, that camaraderie, you know. <laughs> and he's really, you know, if, if you told him that he had to go in and you know, make friends and, and that was part of the mission, then he would do an amazing job of it. But it's just a lot of effort to do that all the time. So he doesn't. So he's not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think probably about the easiest way is like, mm-hmm. it's like it takes an immense amount of effort to lie constantly and keep everything in check. So he doesn't do it unless and he only tries to do one at a time. Mm. Um, and so he would, if, yeah, if you told him you've got to go and get in with the gang and the old gaggy and chummy and everything, he would do an amazing job of it. But because he can't, he's just, yeah, he, he, he can't <laughs> do everything else. So he just ends up failing, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, question for Matt. Uh, what emotions does Adelbert experience when sketching? I think it's very calming for him. Uh, it's a way for him to kind of better understand the world by by sketching. He's capturing life. So when he's doing um, uh, anatomical drawings or, or still life, it's a way to kind of develop his understanding of animals and existence and things. And when he's kind of just sketching out the window, it's a way for him to learn and observe the common people and their daily lives and what they do. So it's it's very calming mm. for him. It's it's nice. You like drawing peasants? Yes, I enjoy drawing drawing the peasants. <laughs> All right. I mean, uh... We go back to Trillin, and I've got my beautiful big house looking at all of, all of these thatched, thatched huts going, yes, little peasant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a question for Matt. Uh, what's the hardest thing for Alithia about being in the Golden Leaf Gang? I think it's that, um, it's that kind of dichotomy because um, of... Uh, the Golden Leaf Gang is about a lot of violence and mm. um, a lot of the things they do involve violence and there's no kind of getting around it. Um, like, <laughs> God, look at you guys. <laughs> like, even if she wanted to do the kind of let's be friends, let's try and charm them, let's try and use like non-lethal force, it's just not going to work if she wants to continue to live. Um, and I think that's quite difficult for her, um, because she's quite good at that. She's yeah. quite good at being like, you know, lethal and whatnot. Yep. And it's kind of fun being able to do, uh, you know, cool stuff like that. But at the same time, the amount of damage that does, I think she finds it quite difficult mm. to deal with. And essentially, she's like massively just like, nope, 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 not thinking about it uh, and burying it all down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, question for Miss Roberts <laughs> What emotions does Harathia experience when telling someone to fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how much emotion there is in it, generally, because he said it so often. Mm. Um, you know, emotion is sort of you know, drained by repetition. I mean, if he really means it, um, then he's got an expectation that the person for their own safety is going to get the fuck out of his face. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's just a, it's a commonplace thing that he says. So. Casual. Yeah. No, I mean, it doesn't mean to say that when he says it, he's being casual, but it's just, there's an expectation that if he says that to someone, they're going to, they're going to get out of his face. Mm. So, you know, he, 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 he fully hundred percent is in the moment and means it, but he doesn't get like, he doesn't get angry. I know he seems like a very angry guy, but, um, he's not always angry. 
Put it that way. All right. And final question from Mr. Harris. Um, if Zaymar were to write a book, what would its title be? Oh, my goodness me. Um, that's really tricky. <laughs> I, I think... It's, I'm trying to think, like, what would he want to actually pass on in terms of knowledge? Mm. It would probably be... Um, how to make friends and alienate How to not... <laughs> how to... Yeah. <laughs> How to kill people, you know, stealthily with poison and, and never be their friend ever. No, um, it would probably be um, Zaymar's best guide to how to plan so that not everybody dies on your mission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm working on a book. And, you know, it's like the thing that I find myself wanting to get out into the world so that other people might read it and might take it on, and then he would just like casually leave the copies around in like <laughs> Adel Bear and Horatia's room, and <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> open to a certain page with a knife stuck in yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Underlined several times. <laughs> okay. Collect the collected memoirs of somebody who didn't die on many missions and what they did to avoid it. <laughs> it's not a bad title. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, we'll end the session there. So uh, thank you all again for watching and we we'll hope to see you next week. Um, and that's it from us. Yeah, join us on Discord. Yeah, join us on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook. <laughs> and Facebook. And, and Twitter. And Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.